Welcome to another episode of our tutorial. So for today's time, I'm working with three pieces of actual key. So the length of the actual key I'm working with is a 90 inches. I've already cut the base and the handle. So the main one left is what I used to cut the star itself. So I'm measuring it out for you so you all see what I have. Okay. So the first measurement I have is 20 inches. Okay. So initially I cut 21 inches. Okay. So I stitch both ends. That reduces it to 20 inches. Sorry, sorry about that. I'm just trying to adjust my camera. So I stitch both ends here. Okay. So then after that, the measurement we need is this four. We are going to cut it into four and join it in twos. Okay. So I join it two and stitch one side. So the four all together is the same measurement. Okay, so let me just take the measurements so you see what I have there. <clears throat> Alright, so this is what I have. So initially I cut um 27. Okay, I cut 27 inches in four uh, four in four places rather. I join it in twos, okay, then I stitch one edge. So I have it like that. So I've um, set my base on the dummy. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is take one of the tools, the 27 inches, okay. Sorry about all this, I'm just trying to adjust my camera because I, I feel it's not bright enough and I don't know why. Okay, so you just place it normal way, you leave about 5 inches, about 5 inches and place it like so, just normal way we place for our auto -pilot. Okay, so I'm just using my pin to hold it this time around. I'm not going to tack. So I'm going to be using my pin to hold it down to the base like that. And look at where I'm stopping you. Okay, I'm going to stop at that point there. So just, just look at the angle. That angle to the eye. That's where we are going to stop uh, tacking. Because this one is a little bit different from center knot, okay? So I do the same thing. I repeat the same thing for the other side too. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to pleat everything, okay? I'm going to pleat everything on this side. Just normal way you pleat, okay? Just normal way you pleat. You just want to pleat it out in any way you pleat, okay? So I'm going to pleat everything like so. If you just happen to stumble on my video, I welcome you all to my channel. Here we are going to be learning how to make different styles of auto -game. and lots more. I'm still going to be bringing so many other things. So you need to subscribe and click on the notification bell button so as to be notified each time I drop a new video. And if you are a returning subscriber, you guys are the best. I do my cap for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the likes, the comments, the share, and everything. Thank you. I really appreciate you guys. So I've fitted everything out like that. So I'm going to be using my clip to hold it down. You can use your pin to hold it down. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side. All right, guys. So I don't want to waste our time here, okay? So that's why I'm trying to just like skip all this part. I don't want to waste our time. And of course, our data, because I know that one is very, very important. Nobody wants to waste data for this Ninja. So just pin it down like that. I decided to use pin this time around because my clip is not enough. Okay, I only have only working with like four clips or so. I did three clips gone. So I'm just trying to manage. Okay, so just pin it down like that so this 20 inches is what we're going to be using to form a rough foot at the middle okay so the reason why we are using this 20 inches to form the rough foot is i noticed if if i just bring the the one from the two sides just roughly like that it will be as high as what i'm going to be having at the end of this process okay so this this 20 inches is just to push the rough foot push the star itself a little bit so that to have a little height you know now if your customer is saying no i want th this thing very high so instead of being now cutting 27 inches into three into four into five like that all in the name of you want to achieve a very high gillage you can just use this metal you know you just have the kind of ruffle at the middle before you now bring the other one on top of it so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing with these 20 inches here yeah? 
So I'm starting my ruffle. So this ruffle is just the normal way I do my ruffle. If you don't know how to form a ruffle gilly or you don't know how to form ruffle or tackle plateau, please do well to check my previous video on how to make ruffle or to gilly. So I'm just going to be doing the same thing, just forming a ruffle and using my pin to hold it down like so, okay? So I'm just going to be holding it down like that with my pins, okay? So that's the way we form ruffle here on this channel, okay? Can you see? I already have the ruffle here. So now I'm back to the sides now. So we are going to be forming ruffle also with this part. That's why I said it's a little bit different from center knot, whereby you need to first tie before you now start forming the ruffle with the remaining one. This one, you are just going to form ruffle with everything without tying. So instead of tying, I decided to input that 20 inches at the middle. Okay, so just, just watch what I'm doing carefully. This style is very easy, sweet, you know, so just watch what I'm doing here. So I'm just, just ruffle something. No, now, just the meaning of ruffle is just for you to ruffle, to squeeze something together. There is no particular method. There is no particular way. So don't say, ah, the way class thought should do this thing. The way she squeeze this to me, so I must squeeze it. You're not using your energy and be using your strength. No, my sister. Don't need to do that, okay? Just squeeze something together and use your pin to hold it. So ruffle and pins, eh? They are five and six. You need as many pins as you can. As many pins, okay? So just use pins to hold it. That's just the script behind making ruffles. Making my own type of ruffles, you know, because there are so, so many ruffles out there. There are some ruffles that look like bread. Some look like yam. I don't even know what mine is looking like, but I love it and my customers love it. Okay, guys, so just watch what I'm doing carefully. So now I'm combining the two ruffles together, okay? So just using my pin to hold this. So <clears throat> I don't want to talk too much, okay, guys? So this is ruffle. You just want to ruffle it. Like I said earlier, if you don't know how to form a ruffle or to delay at all, please check my previous video on how to make a ruffle or to delay. That one is going to be a guide. So at least if you watch that one, this one will be very, very easy for you to do. So I'm just forming it like that and using my pin to hold it down like so. So nothing much, just for us to form the rock here and hold it down. And all of you, eh, that you just come, you just play like this and press download without you watching this thing. I'm looking at all of you like this. I'm, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing you. At least, please, and please, be cool watch this video watch it at least to the middle before you download and i know that 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 that's your data is very important but please watch this video before you download it means a lot to me so i'm just going to repeat the same thing for the other side my sister this is it you can see it's very easy and look at the back so i just repeat the same thing for the other side and we just bring everything together to form the rough so now i'm going to start tacking everything just the normal way we tack our ruffle or to get it, okay? I'll tack everything and I'll come back to show you the next thing to do, guys. Okay, just tack. Hmm? All those places you have pins, you're going to tack everything together. All right, guys, can you see I've tacked everything together? All those places I have pins, I make sure that my needle passes through that pin. So, next I'm going to be doing now is just from that point, okay? So I just find my way back to the base. So the pleats underneath the base, you make sure that your needle come out from that pleat, okay? Because it's, it, I, I didn't cut off the thread, okay? I just continue with, with the, the thread like that. So just going in and like that to tag the remaining one. You know, we didn't, we didn't tag anything. When we first started, we just use our pin to hold it together. So you are going to tag the remaining parts now to the base. Okay, so that is exactly what I'm doing here. Like I always say, there's no particular rule about tacking. You don't have any rule. What you just want to do is tack in such a way that your threads are not showing, they are very neat, 
and the star that you've created, if, you, if you've created yam, don't go and sack your gilly such a way that your yam will now turn to purple. <laughs> so you just stack everything like that up to that point. Alright, so I've gotten to that point. I've tacked everything. So the next thing I'm going to do now is just I'm going to insert my needle into the second place. Then you know we've tacked the first place to the base. So I'll insert into the second place. But instead of it coming out from the front, it's coming out from the back. And the reason why we always do this is just for the tacking there not to be visible, okay? So from that point, I'm going to arrange my pleats. I'm going to arrange my pleats like that. The way you want it to be just arrange it very well okay like i'm doing just arrange and from the back there i'm just going to insert i'm just going to insert into it can you see let's see from that point just extend and insert into it like that and pull everything together so this time I'm just packing everything together, packing the whole bit together, going back and forth like that as many times as you want. Okay, you want to tack it very well. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the excess and fix the other. So I'll repeat the same process for the other side here. Okay, can you see? Just going underneath like that and pass, pass, pass. Now I'll do the same for the other side. Fix the angle and I'll come back to show you the finished look guys all right guys so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment for me and do well to send me your own picture when you practice send it to me on telegram i'll really appreciate it thank you so much love you guys Bye bye